Lenny's and Bunny Lovers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play with your rabbit. Now this is a highly, highly requested video and one of the most searched things on the internet with regards to rabbits. She's like hiding in my, in my elbow, it's really cute. Bunnies can be really playful, really flirty. They're so spontaneous, they have so much sass and character to them. And it's unfortunate that many people just don't know how to bring out that side in their rabbit and they miss out on a great opportunity to bond with their rabbit, to you know keep their rabbit stimulated and happy. And this is where a lot of people start to get frustrated and give up on their rabbits because they just don't see the potential. What tends to happen is we'll get a bunny and we project all of these other animal behaviors onto them. And so we sort of expect them to behave like a dog or behave like a cat. And while rabbits do share a lot of similar characteristics to those animals at the end of the day, they are not those animals. And I think what really separates rabbits from a lot of the most popular pets are the fact that they are prey. And so I'm just giving you a little background in terms of understanding where rabbits are coming from. So in order to play with your rabbit, all we really have to do is boil it down to what are the rabbit instincts, and how do we create a fun time within those instincts for them? So what rabbits find enjoyable are digging slash burrowing, chewing. They like exploring. So they are very curious by nature and receiving pets and affection. I liken this to their love language is physical touch. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is the time of day that you're trying to play with your rabbit. You wanna make sure that you're hitting those active hours when you are interacting and bonding with your rabbit. Now, most bunnies active hours by nature are gonna be dawn and dusk, but we all know that every bunny is different and every bunny's on a different schedule. A lot of rabbit schedules really revolve around their feeding times and around when their human is active. And finally guys, space is so critical when it comes to playing with your rabbit or you know having your rabbit enjoy themselves. There's no way you're gonna be able to perform any of these activities if your rabbit is living in a tiny cage or in a tiny hutch outside. So this is one of my favorite ones. It's called Reverse Fetch. And I saw the bunny lady do this in her video. So, you know, shout out to her. I've been doing this with Lennon for a really long time, but I didn't really have a name for it. And I think that Reverse Fetch is just such a great name for it. Because bunnies, they're not actually gonna go fetch something and bring it back to you again. This is not in their nature to go hunt something out like that. What you wanna do is you wanna give your bunny a little stick something that they like to chew on, something that's lightweight, and you're gonna kinda just put it under their mouth. Something that can be even more fun than a chew stick are like these little baby toys. You can get these at like the dollar store or whatever. Okay, next, teaching your rabbit tricks. I did make a video on how to teach your rabbit to come when called, but a lot of those rules apply to this as well. And I'll insert some of those clips here, but basically you, know, you wanna grab a treat, you wanna condition them over and over until they get it right. Rabbits are very intelligent. You can definitely teach them to learn their name. You can teach them to spin, to high five you. And this is gonna be incredibly stimulating for them. It's gonna be stimulating for you. It's gonna be a great way to bond with them, earn their trust. And it's kind of a cool thing to show off to people. Like when people come over and, you know, I call Lennon by her name and she comes to me, they're very, very impressed. Okay, next we have the blanket escape. Basically, you just wanna get like a blanket or a t-shirt or, you know, a towel, something that you don't really care about being chewed. They are problem solvers and they're gonna figure out a way to get out from under the blanket. And then they're gonna also dig a little, chew a little, burrow in it a little bit. Lennon absolutely loves digging into blankets. It's one of her favorite activities. Okay, next, you can do binkies with your bunny. And if you don't know what binkies are, it's really cute. It's when your bunnies kind of do hops and twists in the air, and it is just pure and utter bliss for them. That means they are so happy, and it's how they express their happiness. I will make the disclaimer that 
This activity is more prevalent in young bunnies and babies. They tend to do the most zoomies and binkies. You're not gonna see this very often in a middle-aged or senior rabbit, but if you do have a younger bunny and you wanna help induce some binkies in them, <laughs> they can become influenced if they see another bunny or you doing them. And Sincerely Cinnabon did a great example of this in one of her TikToks. So I'll insert that here, all credit goes to her. So the next one is scatter feeding. And this is a really great stimulator because rabbits love to forage. So while they may not be hunters, they do like to search for their food. They like a little bit of a challenge. They like to feel like they've earned their treat. And because pellets are diced into these small little crumbs, I think they're great for inducing that inner scavenger in the rabbit. So you just scatter it on the ground. You can scatter it into their hay. You can also use an herbal mix. A lot of the herbal blends from Small Pad Select are really nice for this too. You can scatter that on their hay. Next, we have tug of war. You can do this with the blankie or with a chew toy. This one's really fun because rabbits love to chew. So basically, you wanna get your rabbit sinking their teeth into something fun. You're just gonna kind of tug a little bit. Remember to be gentle. They're gonna appreciate a little resistance. Remember, rabbits like to chew against resistance. Okay, next, petting your rabbit. Now they love affection. This is gonna boil down to that physical touch element I was talking about earlier. The bottom line is this is something they really enjoy. They're gonna have fun receiving these pets and you can also play a little game with them. Lennon was having fun with this. She would like lick the pillow in order to receive more pets. It was absolutely adorable. And this, this can be kind of a game for them. It is, it is a playful thing for them to do. So don't think that just because you're petting them, it's not a game, because they totally know what they're doing to manipulate you. I also wanted to add tickling. This is really cute and fun. It also falls into the physical touch category, but just make sure you're being gentle and you're not like poking your rabbit or hurting them. Jabba the Rabbit did a great example of showing how they tickle their bunny, so credit goes to them for this as well. Next is letting them explore. This is gonna bring out the inner explorer in them, their inner curiosity. And for this to happen, all you have to do is get down on the ground, lay down, get down on their level, and let them come to you. Let them kiss you, hop on top of you, you know, nudge you, sniff you, all the things. All the things that rabbits do in order to bond with their mates. They're gonna earn their trust. They're gonna feel more comfortable around you. You know, they're gonna encounter all sorts of scents on you. It's gonna be very stimulating. And they're gonna feel like they are your equal because again, you are getting at their level. So this is very, very important. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments below if you know you have any fun ways that you play with your bunny. I would love to add those to this list. And please subscribe, smash like button, you know the drill. We'll see you soon. Bye.